How's it going guys? Uh, today's video is going to be about the future of the Guinness Pro 12. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard lately, but uh, there's been reports that there's going to be two South African teams from the Super Rugby joining the Pro 12. Uh, so today I wanted to kind of talk about it and what the Pro 12 would look like if it joined and how would it work and stuff like that. So I have a feeling this is what the logos would be like. It would be either the Guinness Pro 14 or the Guinness Pro 20. I'll go into why it would be 20 in a minute. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about the Guinness Pro 14 first. Um, so, this is, these are pictures I've come up with and I've made myself. Uh, so the teams would obviously look like this now. Um, as you can see, all the regular teams are there, but you've got the Kings and the Cheetahs from the South African provinces to join. Um, the original thing from the Super Rugby was they wanted to get rid of a couple of teams from the Super Rugby to make it back to the Super 15. And uh, these two South African teams are some of the teams that are going to be dropped. Um, so this is how it would work. There's been reports that there'll be two pools of seven teams. Um, these are the teams I've gathered to come up with because they're the closest to the South African provinces. Uh, South African rugby board have said that the teams uh, prefer to stay playing in South Africa. Uh, so it'll cause a lot of problems traveling and stuff so that's why these, I put these into the same group um, yeah they're a few thousand miles away but they're the closest teams to South Africa and that's probably why I think they'd be in the same things and then pool 2 then is just basically the same thing again but they're closest together so that way then you're paying less on travel expenses um, so yeah but this is this is basically what I came up with the Pro 14, but the Pro tw uh, Pro 20 now, which is what I want to talk to you about, is uh, I don't know if you guys watched lately, but there was a game with America versus Canada, which was the first game of the Rugby World Cup 2019 qualifying game, um, and in that game I noticed there was something on the pitch, and that was a Guinness logo. Right, so obviously it's a sponsor, and there's nothing into it than that, but I noticed the set that. Guinness sponsor is the same layout as the Guinness Pro 12 layout on the pitch, which this is the picture of the American game, and this is a picture of the Pro 12. Notice how similar they are? I would have thought Guinness would have had a larger size sponsor or something along those lines if they were going to promote their company as a sponsor, if, I, if you get what I mean. I mean, like, considering that exact, that is the exact shape of the Guinness Pro 12 logo. So, if that's a coincidence, I don't know, but it, it doesn't seem right, if you know what I mean. So, but yeah, anyway, so that's why I've been thinking now, because there's been talks lately of the American teams to join the Pro 12 as well, to form like a super rugby competition, obviously if South Africa clubs join. Um, so that's why I thought, that's why we called the Guinness Pro, tw uh, Pro 20, sorry, this is getting confusing. Um, so yeah, Guinness Pro 20, if it ever existed, uh, they did say it would be aiming to the 2018 to 2019 season. Um, so this is how I think it would be laid out. You'd have Pool 1, two South African teams, the two Italian teams, and Bucharest Wolves. I put Bucharest Wolves into it because it doesn't sound like Guinness Pro 19, does it? So it has to make 20. So um, yeah, so that would be Pool 1 because obviously they're the closest in Europe to South Africa. So that's why I thought what well, they'll form in a pool. Uh, pool 2 then, we've got the two Scotland teams, uh, Glasgow and Edinburgh, and then three Irish teams, which are further, up a f further afield in Ireland. Uh, and then Pool 3 then, we've got the four Welsh regions and Leinster. Leinster being there because it's closer to the Welsh regions um, on the map, uh, which I'll be showing you in a minute, it's a hell of a lot closer than any of the other Irish clubs. And then Pool 4 then, which would form the five American teams. They're the teams that were in the Pro Rugby Tournament last year, uh, where basically America had one season of having professional rugby clubs compete against each other in a league. Um, so, and that, that's not actually existing this season uh, for some reason. So that's why I have a feeling they could form into the Guinness Pro 12. Well, the Guinness Pro 20 in this scenario. Um, so yeah, moving on then. This, these are the maps, okay, so pool 1, uh, it would be a maximum of 5,198 miles having to travel. Uh, that's with the Kings in South Africa going all the way to Bucharest. Now that's quite a long flight, I'd probably imagine. I don't know my hours and stuff, but that's a hell of a lot of miles. Um, 
So I have a feeling they might relocate, but then them saying they don't want to relocate and Guinness World 12 really wanting them to join the league, I have a feeling they, yeah, I have a feeling they might have to stay and then that will be the length of travelling distance. Obviously Italy being closer as you can see compared to this map, um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, pool 2 then would only be a maximum of 306 miles travelled and that's from Edinburgh to Munster, so that's not too bad considering they do that every season anyway. Uh, and you'd only have to travel there once for your team, so mm, could work. Well, will work actually because it's already done. Uh, then we've got then pool three, then which is only 124 miles from Newport Gwent all the way to Leinster. Uh, again, they do that every season anyway, so that's why I put Leinster into that pool because they're the closest Irish team to the Welsh provinces. And then pool four, then which is the American teams. The furthest they've traveled is 2,117 miles. Again, I don't know if that's a long flight, but it's pretty much two sides of America, isn't it? So, um, it did work last year, but I don't know whether the money and stuff is there for America to be doing that. So I have a feeling they might just lower that down to a few American teams rather than five. Uh, but then it'd be kind of an odd number in the league, and it wouldn't sound right, would it? Like Guinness Pro 18 or whatever like that. So, I don't know. But either way, guys, uh, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, leave a like and comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And let me know if you think this is ever going to happen. Uh, Guinness Pro 14 is going to be in talks this week, so um, who knows, it might happen and it might not, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed guys, and uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more rugby videos just like this, there's loads of rugby 18 content coming up, and loads of other fun stuff if you don't like rugby, because I know some people don't like sports, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, peace out.